Welcome to our video on phased migration with manual synchronization. Building on our last discussion about PLM data migration, today, we're diving into the specifics of this strategy. Whether you're a pro or a beginner, buckle up for a quick dive into the details. Let's get started. In phased migration with manual synchronization strategy or approach, we'll explore a typical migration timeline derived for the sample data that we considered for the previous videos, then we talk about pros and cons of the strategy. In this strategy, data is migrated in chunks or batches in various phases. The data migration strategy followed for each of the phases could either follow a Big Bang data-centric or a Big Bang user-centric. In essence, it is a strategy that is formed by stitching multiple Big Bang approaches. While bulk of the data is migrated in phases, small amount of data is migrated in either of the directions manually. This allows business users to continue working in both the systems with small amount of shared data migrated between systems. This strategy costs premium over Big Bang migration approaches as the migration solution not only includes migration of data in phases but also bidirectionally. It is suitable for medium to large-scale businesses that target gradual transformation to avoid business interruption and to have a good control over the progress. We will be talking about stages of migration and their timeline for same sample data selected for all the strategies to illustrate the differences, pros and cons in a simplified manner. Everything that we discuss in this section are either in comparison or in addition to the Big Bang strategies. During the development and testing stage, we focus on three key aspects. First, building the tool chain, which might take extra time for iterative data migration. Second, rigorous testing is needed for the manual synchronization process. Lastly, in the phased migration approach, we categorize data by features to take care of complex data in last phase. Before officially moving to production data migration, we go through a pre-production phase. During this phase, testing is a crucial step to make sure everything works smoothly. Ensuring the source system is ready and compatible for bidirectional synchronization is also a part of this preparation. We don't just test a little, it's a thorough examination. We specifically focus on two aspects, bulk migration that is moving a lot of data at once and manual synchronization where human involvement is needed. The goal is to make sure these two methods work seamlessly together during this phase. As we move on to the next step in our phased migration, we kick things off with a process called data priming. Here, we meticulously prepare and shift all the data of a particular phase to the target system, while people continue to use both the source and target systems. However, manually sync data adds a bit of complexity both in terms of execution and tracking. In the last step of moving things from the source system to the target system, we only transfer the stuff that's new or changed recently. Doing this makes the whole process faster and easier. Each time we shift things for a new phase, it gets quicker and simpler because we learn from each time we've done it before. So, every step teaches us how to make the next one go more smoothly. Post-migration support refers to the assistance provided after transferring data to a target system. This support team works closely with the on-demand synchronization team, ensuring a smooth transition. They play a role similar to the Big Bang user-centric team but with a focus on a more extended duration of help, offering ongoing support beyond the initial migration phase. This ensures that any issues or questions arising after the migration can be addressed promptly and effectively. Occasionally, we have to manually update data that has been changed or newly created. This is done to make sure that shared or contextual information is up to date in both systems. This allows users work in both the systems with all the required carryover data efficiently. This arrangement is temporary and comes into effect after phase 1 and ends with the migration of last phase data. Comparing the phased migration with manual synchronization approach with its pros and cons to Big Bang migration approach. 
phased approach is well suited for medium to large scale migration projects. It is effective for migrating complex data, making it suitable for projects with intricate data structures. Migrating a small amount of data in early phases allows for better understanding and adaptation in later stages of the project. The scope of initial phases can be adjusted and accommodated in later phases, providing flexibility in project planning. This approach is less risky, making it ideal for projects with numerous dependencies and transformations. Phased migration with manual synchronization is well suited for digital transformation projects. However, it is crucial to consider the challenges associated with the phased migration with manual synchronization approach. Comparatively, this approach can be reasonably expensive when compared to Big Bang approaches. The project execution timeline is longer to accommodate migration and planning in phases. It demands resources to be available for a more extended period, impacting resource planning. Managing the combination of bulk and manual synchronization can be complex and requires careful coordination. Before production migration, a specific test source system is required to test bidirectional synchronization, adding up to the cost. In essence, while phased migration with manual synchronization offers flexibility and risk mitigation, it comes with the trade-off of higher cost, an extended timeline, and resource demands. Careful consideration is needed based on project requirements and constraints. We are covering phased migration with bulk synchronization strategy or approach in detail in the upcoming videos. We provide services to these Siemens products and also, we developed our own smart port application to automate issue reports and resolution. Please visit our Team Center and NX helpline, which is free and open to all PLM community. Here you will get instant expert assistance, guidance and best practices for your organization. You can also email us on below mentioned email ID. Thank you for watching this video.